what we're trying to do is take that shift in the political weather and supercharge it and create, um, <clears throat> raise the temperature on this issue so much that no one can run for office without feeling compelled that they have to take a stand on the side of democracy against this corruption for, for us to have an equal voice as opposed to a democracy that works just for the 1%. And that's what Democracy Spring is about, is drawing a line in the sand of the consciousness within our country to say that everyone has to make a decision and take a side whether with the people and democracy or big money and corruption and that if you defend the status quo of corruption we will shut you down we will disrupt business as usual there will be a price to pay um, at your fundraisers um, in your offices at the capitol in the streets and at the polls and we will take you down um, because we cannot accept this status quo anymore. We need a government that works for us all, that can solve the urgent problems that we face, catastrophic climate change, mass incarceration, historic economic inequality, student debt, on down the line. The big money interests are profiting from the status quo. And as so long as they're controlling Congress and controlling our government, we're not going to see the progress that we need, certainly not in time for everyone who's hurting. And so this is about creating a moment that changes the game on this issue. And I think we're well on the way. Over 700 people have been arrested in the last few days. Um, and we're on our way to this being the largest civil disobedience of this century in our country and sending a message that um, the American people are determined to change this. And if you want to survive politically in this country, you better get on the right side of this issue. I think I've had this kind of internalized fear of power and authority for like all my life. You know, and so I, I, I do feel like I've tried to stay out of trouble and not get arrested. And it was just really liberating to get arrested, <laughs> to just deal with the fear. And also it was such a gentle experience. They were super friendly and I th thanked them for how they were treating us. And then they thanked me for how we were behaving and treating them. Uh, so there was kind of a mutual respect and like, just yes it was a beautiful experience there was a lot of camaraderie and you know we were we felt like a felt like a party very positive as you see there's a tremendous community developed there's tremendous movement momentum this is going forward we will win democracy for all money out of politics we're making it impossible for them to carry on the corrupt status quo without having to do something extreme, which is send hundreds of people to jail day after day. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I mean, they've never had so many arrests at the U.S. Capitol before. I think we've seen that there's a rising, you know, um, generation right that that has a different vision of where our country needs to be on issue after issue if you look at where the people are at um, we want to be able to move forward towards a future where we really deal with climate change and we stabilize that and where we're able to lift up everyone in the economy where people are able to access health care and education we can do that that's where the people are at in this rising um, electorate but we have to break the grip of big money on our politics and, and stop this voter suppression that keeps that majority from being able to express itself. You know, these laws are used to, you know, really reinforce the current power structure. You know, so they work hand in hand, along with things like defunding public education and, um, you know, us lacking access to health care. All these things work together to kind of create, um, you know, a caste system, you know, where um, the poor people and especially people of color really virtually have no power and no say right now in our government. Can you guys see what's happening? They're creating a, a human circle for us. I am a person of color. <laughs> the idea was that, you know, we wanted the people of color to be the last ones to get arrested. And so they were, you know, picking people from, um, like, the outside ring. So, like, the white people agreed to, like, be on the outside so that we're the last ones to get arrested. So that was nice. I mean, there was an incredible sense of harmony. We love you. They're chanting, we love you. We're chanting back, we love you. And they were all chanting earlier, thank you. And we're saying thank you. We felt, we felt recognized that, you know, we... It, it was important for us to have a voice, to be visible, not invisible, because we're so accustomed to being invisible. And especially being an Asian person, I often feel invisible or on the margins. It was a, it was a really powerful experience. DemocracySpring.org, go sign up, come. we got training. It's a beautiful community. We're coming together. If somebody is watching from many miles away and they want to participate in this, they want to get here before it's over, 
do they need to fly? Do they need to drive? Or do they have time to walk? <laughs> well, it depends on how far away they are. You know what I'm saying? You've, we're going to be here at least through next Monday, and we want to continue it beyond that, right? Movements change things when we have staying power, when we escalate, when we sustain it, when we keep pushing, right? There's been over 700 people arrested in the last uh, three days. We're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be building. We need people. If you agree with us, I'm telling you, you have to search your heart and say, why am I not there? Are the people who've left their jobs, you know, temporarily, right, who uh, left school temporarily, right, to come here, are they somehow better, more courageous, more committed, you know, than you? No. They just got there a little sooner, right? You know, so you got to step up and join us. If you want a government that represents you and not just the 1%, you need to be here, you need to march, you need to sit in. If we do this together with even a tiny fraction of the number of the American people who agree with us in principle, are willing to step up and walk the talk, then we're going to rock this whole situation. We're going to change this election. We're going to change this country. It's possible. Go to democracyspring.org, sign up, find a way to get here, get on a bus, get on a plane, get on a train, walk, run, do whatever it takes, get here, be part of this moment. You don't want to miss it.